now. It's visible. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Can you Just it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 Mm. Have you shared the code? Yes. Shared. Uh, oh, rather. Okay. Tech. Mm, constant person. Uh, not run the code but do let me know what would be the output of control okay uh, person dot tech person dot tech is uh, okay person dot tech dot name uh okay okay the code is okay mm. okay so here what we are doing we are using the spread operator so uh, what the spread operator it won't create a new reference due to which both will have same memory location so the value get it will get changed to node.js so the value will be node.js so output will be node.js okay uh, now uh, so in react uh, we have like uh, have you worked more with classes the uh, functional as well as class based components but mostly functional based components uh, so in, in the project have you worked on have you worked on any e-commerce project uh, yes i have worked on e-commerce project okay so uh, do you know anything about esx features esx features yes Uh, like what, what are the features that you know about? Yeah, ES6 features includes uh, destructuring spread operator, promises, callbacks, uh, arrow functions, destructuring, slice, uh, splice, uh, let, cons. So these are the few f features I can think of. There are few others, but these are the few which I can think of. Okay, uh, could you tell me of, uh, the difference between let, var and cons? Uh, the difference between let var and cons is uh, var it is it is a function scope uh, let and cons they are the block scope let it can be it cannot be redeclared whereas cons it cannot be reinitialized var it can be redeclared and can be reinitialized so these are the two main difference between uh, let var and cons okay cool uh, so what are spread operators uh, so spread operator what it does uh, it is used for combining the elements from two, uh, two arrays or objects for example uh, take an array a uh, one uh, with elements 1 and 2 and array b with elements c and 4 and if we want to combine all the four elements in array c then we can do with the help of a spread operator so in short uh, it is used to combine the elements Uh, combine objects or arrays. Yes. Okay. Yes. But do you know the difference between a shallow copy and a deep copy? In shallow copy, the object, both the object will have, uh, it will point to the same memory location. But in deep copy, it will store the copy of the object's value. Then further, if it is updated, the se so there are two objects for deep copy. So if the second object gets updated it won't re reflect in the first object in deep copy but in shallow copy what will happen it will reflect in the other object as well so that is the difference between deep copy and shallow copy okay okay cool. so like uh, do you know what are closures yes closures uh, so a closure what it does so there is a outer function and inner function the uh, so here in closure the inner function can have access to the outer function scope variable so that is nothing but the js closure okay uh, then what is the thing in javascript the variables can be used before declaration so what happens with the help of hosting the compilation it moves uh, the the declaration at top of the scope it can be fun it is both for the function declaration as well as variable declaration okay uh, okay
using reduce uh, create a function that multiplies all the va- value present inside an array uh, multiply all the elements uh, inside the array to return the output this is one to five yeah hello okay okay cool uh moving on to react uh sorry uh, uh in javascript do you know what is an event loop uh, so event loop what it does it will check for the execution stack for task to get executed so so if the stack is an empty so it checks task queue for the pending task so pending a synchronous task so the synchronous task gets executed one by one and later on it gets empty then it will check once it gets empty the task queue uh, it will take the asynchronous task and it will put into the uh, execution task to get executed so that is the role of the event loop in javascript okay okay uh cool. uh so the next let's move on to react uh, could you explain the life cycle method of react to me a uh, life cycle method it includes multi uh, so uh, in class components what we do uh, like component did uh, so for, so in class components for mounting process we use component did mount for updating we use component did update for <laughs> unmounting we use component will unmount whereas in functional component with the help of fuse effect so that's how uh, we do in class as well as in functional component okay how can you achieve component did uh, update uh, in functional component a component did update uh, we do with the help of like a use effect uh, use effect function and uh, then we will use dependency any state or prop so uh, suppose there is a state abc so we will write function and dependency these are the two parameters abc as a para- uh, uh, dependency array so these are the two parameters we will put in use effect uh, okay. uh, how do you achieve you component did will unmount for a uh, component will unmount we will use uh, the f- return method and the dependency array if you want to remove the component yep okay uh what is a context api context api uh, what it helps it helps us to avoid prop drilling so there is a, a with the help of props we used to pass from parent to child and so on so there uh, it is an hierarchical way so uh, to pass the data for example if you want to pass the uh, data from Uh, upper most level to the lower most level directly then we can do with the help of context api okay cool so as you mentioned that you have used redux 
So yeah. could you explain me what is Redux and how it works? Okay, so Redux, uh, Redux, it is a global scape management purpose. Uh, so generally, when uh, we deal with large number of states with large project, then we generally use Redux. And how it works? It's like uh, uh, so there are three components: action, store, and reduce action. It will take what action needs to be performed. Whereas uh, the reducer, uh, it will take the uh, action. And it will take the initial state, and it it is used to return an updated state. Whereas store, it will store all the state of the application. So that is the role of uh, the components of Redux. And if you want, we can use middleware. If you want to intercept or if you want to cancel the action, then we can use middleware. It will enhance the functionality of the Redux. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. Have you worked with any of the middleware with, uh, with Redux? Yes, I have worked with Redux Saga as well as Redux Thunk. Can you brief me about what is the difference between, uh, like, what is the Redux middleware and if you know the difference between Thunk and Saga? Uh, so, Redux middleware, uh, it helps us to, uh, like, it helps us to add the functionality in Redux. So, what happens? It helps us to cancel the action or intercept the action so that is the role of the middleware so redux thunk and saga both are the middleware libraries which helps us to interact with the rest apis asynchronously so Re redux saga it is more complicated as compared to redux thunk okay okay cool uh, with that, okay. Uh, do you know what are higher order components? Higher order components. Uh, so higher order component takes the component as an argument. The component will takes the component as an argument and returns a new component. Uh, so when we want to highlight or unhighlight the text, or when we want to uh, expand the uh, list, so on those kind of purpose uh, we use HOCs. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Uh, do you have any experience working in uh, working with? PWA applications in React? Yeah, I do have working experience with PWA. Uh, uh, have you used uh, SSR in any of your applications? Yes, I have used. I think that's it from my side. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, 